Hello and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be talking to you about this, the uh, FX172 Spitfire Mark 5C. This is the kit, it's got lovely box art, it's got a good, uh, two very good uh, marking options uh, on, in their kit as well. Decals are lovely and the kit itself looks really nice. You've got this kind of uh, detailed cockpit assembly with all the little bits and bobs and it's, um, it's just really nice and detailed. However, I have come across an issue which uh, other people have reported as well and it's when you come to put the fuselage into the wing assembly um, a lot of people are getting this issue with the massive gap on the wing ring as you can see here and that is uh, pretty big so that got me thinking well I've, I've, bought, I've bought another kit I bought two of these just because they were really cheap um, you know, is it something I've done wrong? Is it something that's wrong in the kit? And I think it's a bit of both. So I'll show you what I mean. So here's one that I've put together just with masking tape. So there's no glue, just dry fit. I've, I've literally just tacked this together really lightly. No pressure at all. And then when you pop that in there, I mean, it's not perfect, but as you can see, when you just pop it down there like that with a bit of pressure on top, it actually, eliminates, I mean there is still a bit of a gap, but eliminates a lot of the gap. I mean, it's, as you can see, it, if you kind of squeeze the fuselage halves a bit, it, um, it creates the gap. If you push it down, a lot of that gap is filled. Now the issue with doing that is actually, I'm pushing it down here, come on camera focus, and it kind of uh, opens up the front of the nose cowling there. So, you know, that's not going to work because you need to glue that and you need to press that down. So I do think there's going to be a bit of a gap there, but certainly it, I'm hoping it can be a bit better than the one I've started building. So I do think when you're building this kit, you have to be really careful when you're gluing the fuselage halves not to squeeze it. And I think that's what I've done here. I've, you know, like you would normally do, squeeze it together because you can't, you kind of need this to be together so that the, um, the cockpit actually sits in there and doesn't fall out. Um, so I do think it's a bit of an issue with the kit, to be honest, because I've not experienced this particular issue with them, um, like their other Mark One Spitfire, which okay, those kits, while not particularly detailed, they are quite good. So yeah, it's just something to be wary of on this kit. Um, so at this point, I've got you know the option of just in kind of giving this giving this up, this one. Um, but I'll probably continue and just like you know I'm, I'm going to have these gaps, so I'm probably going to try and get it in the middle there like that, glue it there, and then fill it with some milliput or something, because um, milliput doesn't shrink, um, or some Vallejo filler or something, plastic, deluxe plastic putty or something, but I'll figure it out. Or I can just, you know, start with this build and, and try and get it a bit better from the start, from the get-go. Um, so yeah, if you're looking at building this kit, I would say just be really, really mindful of not squeezing these fuselage halves together and you should have a pretty decent join so yeah that's pretty much it just a short one um I, it's been a while since i've done a video i have made a couple of kits which i might as well show you so my most recent kits have been this little tamiya 172 uh, p51 mustang it's the first mustang i've ever built and uh, i did this with ak extreme metals and I was going to weather the heck out of this thing, but then I thought, well, do you know what? I actually quite like how this looks. So this has been done up as PT second. So there is that. And I think the metal looks quite nice. And the most recent thing I've built, which is something I've never built before, uh, but I'm a biker. So I thought, well, let's build a motorcycle kit. So this is Tammy's uh, 112 scale Honda CB750F. It's quite an old kit. I think it's like 90s, early 90s. But the engineering on this thing is really awesome. Um, there was a lot of seam lines, so cleanup was quite involved. Um, but at the same time, it does build into a really, really lovely kit. So I think I'll do a motorbike kit on the channel at some point. I'll do a full build video. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in seeing, what kind of kit you'd want me to see, uh, want me to build, uh, be it a Ducati or you know, uh, a race bike or something. But yes, so that's just it from me really just a little kind of tip when you're building this kit do be mindful of uh, the gap and i do think it's a bit of an issue with the kit personally speaking I, I don't think that gap should be there like it is um but there are ways that 
there does seem to be a way around it and that's just kind of if you follow the instructions in the kit it doesn't really you know there's no warning but you, as you can see there like um, the gap looks a lot better but uh, yeah so best of luck building your kit if you have one of these and uh, let me know how it goes in the comments stay tuned for more because we've got a Edward uh, Hellcat video coming that's all built and uh, that should be up on the channel in the next couple of weeks. Thanks for watching guys, uh, take care and happy modeling.